Yes, so we are recording um, and I am going to give you all the floor. Um, so thank you all for your participation and you all creating this opportunity to share more about um, you all's facility and hospital and the opportunities that you all have to offer um, to our students. Um, and so what I'm gonna do is to share with, uh, I'm, I'm going to pass it over to Steve um, and I'm gonna allow them to uh, introduce themselves and also to introduce um, what they have to offer, obviously their hospital um, and obviously, you know, where they are and, you know, what they're looking to do as they move forward in building and expanding their hospital. So Steve, I pass it over to you um, and I uh, hope you enjoy, hopefully you all enjoy and I can't wait to hear more about um, the information that you all have to share to our students. Well, thank you, Trevor. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to talk to your students. We're always excited to find a new nursing school where we can recruit good nurses to come into our program. My name is Steve Nobles. I'm one of the nurse recruiters at Vitant Health. And my co-partner today is? I'm Deb Villani, and I'm also in nurse recruiting. Okay. We work for Vitant Health. We're located in Eastern North Carolina. And as we go along further into the presentation, I'm gonna give you more information about our facility. But for our recruiting, we've developed a tagline that Vitant nurses care like crazy. And we have a video at the end of the presentation that will help you understand more what this means. So we're looking for nurses that care like crazy. We have the learning experience you are looking for as a new grad, and we also are large enough. We have the career opportunities with advancement potentials that you deserve. The vision of Biden Health, I'm sorry, the mission of Biden Health is to improve the health and well being of Eastern North Carolina. Our vision is to become the national model for rural health and wellness by creating a premier trusted healthcare delivery and education system. Our values are integrity, compassion, education, accountability, safety, and teamwork. And I'm sure a lot of you that are gonna be watching this are gonna go, where is Vitant Health? Well, we're located in the Eastern part of North Carolina, as I said, our service area is east of I-95, if you've ever heard of East I-95. Our health system covers 29 counties in the eastern part of the state. We currently have nine hospitals. We have 80 plus physician practices. We have five home health and hospice agencies, and we have two wellness centers. So as you see, we cover a very large area Unlike Dallas or Houston, where you guys are located now, Eastern North Carolina is a very rural area. The largest city in the area is Greenville, North Carolina, where Deb and I are based out of. And that is also where our flagship hospital is located. We currently have eight hospitals in our system that accept new grad nurses. Vitant Medical Center, located in Greenville, North Carolina, is a 974-bed level one trauma center. It is also a teaching hospital with the East Carolina University School of Medicine, College of Nursing, and School of Allied Health. We are also a magnet facility, which we're very proud of that achievement. A little to the east of us, we have Vitant Beaufort Hospital, which is in Washington, North Carolina, and that is the original Washington. It is located right on the water. It is a 142 bed licensed hospital. The newest addition to our team is Vitant North Hospital, which is located in Roanoke Rapids, which is just a few miles from the Virginia border. We also have not far from Vitant North, we have Vitant Roanoke Chuan Hospital located in a Husky, North Carolina, it is 114 licensed beds. Next, we have Vited Edgecombe Hospital, which is in Tarboro, North Carolina. It's 110 licensed beds. We have Vited Bertie, which is in Windsor, 
which is a critical access hospital with six licensed beds. We have Bident Chowan Hospital located in beautiful historic Edenton, North Carolina that has 25 licensed beds. And last, we have Bident Duplin Hospital located in Kings Kenansville, North Carolina that is 81 licensed beds. The main point I tell everybody when I'm showing them all the different facilities and the reason I show the facilities is, depending on what you're looking for, we've got it. If you're looking for a major medical center, level one trauma center teaching hospital, we've got that in Greenville. If as a new grad coming out, you think you would feel more comfortable in a smaller community hospital, we've got that for you also. Depending on what you're looking for lifestyle wise and career wise, we have the opportunities for you at each of these hospitals. Each of the hospitals have pretty much the same services except it's much larger and more acute at Biden Medical Center in Greenville. We are all about you. We hire over 350 new grads every year. We bring them in, train them, and we have state-of-the-art facilities for them to um, learn in. We offer tuition reimbursement, a very generous tuition reimbursement for anyone planning to go back and seek an, an advanced degree. We have nurse fellowships. So if you start out in one area and decide that you want to train in another area, they have fellowship programs that, to offer you the training to make sure you're successful in that new area you have chosen. We also offer the DAISY Award program. And I'm not sure how many of um, you have ever heard of DAISY Award, but DAISY stands for Diseases Affecting the Immune System. This award program was developed by the family of a term terminally ill patient who wanted to do something to recognize the quality care that they, their son was receiving from the nurses. So they developed this DAISY Award. And in my opinion, this is probably one of the highest honors a nurse could receive. If you are nom nominated by a patient's family members on your outstanding service, it probably doesn't get any higher than that. If a family nominates a nurse, the nurse doesn't know it until we show up on their unit early in the morning, at the beginning of their shift, we show up with our daisy cart, they receive a plaque, they receive a certificate and a small statue that was designed by the family. And we're also required to give the nurse Cinnabons. And the reason that the nurse gets Cinnabons is in the last few days of this patient's life, all that he could eat and hold down were Cinnabons. So that's something that's very special to the family. We have an on-site education department. As a new grad nurse, there are only two things we're gonna ask you to come to us with a North Carolina nurse license and an American Heart Association BLS card. Everything else we're gonna give you through our education department. If you need advanced certifications such as an ALS, ACLS, we're gonna sign you up for the class. We pay for the class and we pay you your salary while you are in the class. So all of our education is done right on site. We also offer self-scheduling for our nurses. For those of you that are not familiar with what self-scheduling is, basically like it sounds, the schedule comes out for a six week period, you sign up for the shifts that you wanna work. After everyone is signed up for their shifts, the schedule goes to a committee of your peers in your unit and they review the schedule looking for any holes in the schedule. Let's say, for example, Deb is one of our nurses. She signed up to work Wednesday. The team may call and say, hey, Deb, you're on Wednesday, but we really need coverage on Thursday. Do you mind if we move you over? If Deb, if Deb says no, they move on to the next person. So you really get to choose the schedule that you want to work. We work six week schedules. Our pay periods are two weeks. So you just need to ensure that you work six shifts within a two week period. We have a shared governance structure. And what that means is 
new grads are asked to join committees once they come on board with us. Because one of the things we've learned since we started our nurse residency program is new grads have great ideas, they've got a strong voice, and we want to hear their opinion on how we're operating things. We also will reimburse you for any specialty certification that you get. We reimburse, we pay for it, and you also get special recognition for that. Benefits. We've had a lot of new grads that are younger new grads that have said, well, right now I'm not really concerned about the medical coverage and all of that. But then you have others that are really concerned about what type of benefits we offer. We have a very comprehensive benefit package. We offer medical and pharmacy coverage. We have dental and vision insurance. We have a 401k retirement plan that offers a match. And I'm not sure if any of you have had a 401k or currently have a 401k, but there are a lot of large corporations in the country right now that are no longer doing matches. So we're very happy with the match that we offer with our 401k. Two words I use to describe that is free money because the hospital is gonna match a portion of what you contributed to your 401k. We offer short and long-term disability. We have life insurance that is paid for by the health system. We have flexible spending accounts and healthcare spending accounts. What those are, a flexible spending account is money that I can have deducted out of my check and put into an account if I know I'm gonna have expenses during the year like childcare. Once I determine how much I'm gonna put into my account for that year, the health system gives me a debit card that is automatically loaded and I can use it anytime I need to pay the daycare or whatever. The same goes with the healthcare spending account. If I anticipate that my out-of-pocket healthcare expenses for the year are gonna be $2,000, I just sign up for $2,000, I get another debit card, it's loaded with that $2,000 for me to use throughout the year. Next, we have our paid time off. Our organization has shifted from vacation sick and holiday time to one bucket of paid time off. You accrue PTO with the time that you work. As a new nurse your first year, you will accrue about 25 days of PTO. But I want you to remember, I said earlier, self-scheduling. A lot of the nurses will work their schedule. If they need five days off in a row during a two week pay period, they'll work three days at the beginning of the pay period, take their five days off, and then come back and work three days at the end of the pay period, and they never had to take a day of PTO. We allow you to accumulate PTO, and you can roll over up to 400 hours each year and save it in a bank. Or if you choose to, you can sell back 80 hours of unused PTO to the health system and we'll write you a check for it. We offer relocation assistance for anyone that is relocating and coming to work at any of our facilities. Any of you guys that are becoming from Texas, you'll be eligible for $5,000 in relocation assistance. One thing I like to say up front because I don't like surprises and I'm sure you don't either, the relocation assistance is taxed. So I want you to be aware of that tax will be taking out of that and you will get that reimbursement money within 30 days of starting with us. We also have a holiday savings club where you can put money aside for the holidays. We've got an employee clinic. This clinic is fantastic. I do not have a physician in the community. I use our employee clinic. That is my primary care physician. The copay has generally been $5 to go into the employee clinic, but since COVID, they have waived the copay, so I get to go in and see a provider at no charge. We offer an employee assistance program that offers services such as legal counseling, financial counseling, mental health counseling, any assistance that you need, we have the staff set up to help you with those issues. And each employee is given six free visits per year. 
Next thing on the list is our employee pharmacy. We have a pharmacy on site that we get all of our medications. It is also stocked just like a regular retail pharmacy. You can buy anything you want in there from toothpaste, shampoo, anything's in there and we get a huge discount. I joke when I'm talking to the students about the cost of prescriptions in there. I just got a prescription refilled this Monday for 30 day supply and I paid 93 cents for my prescription. So you see that is a very good benefit. We talked about tuition assistance. What I didn't tell you is the amount. If you're going back to get your master's degree or higher degree, we'll reimburse you $5,000 a year tuition assistance to help with going to school. We also offer adoption assistance. And I think that's up to $2,500 a year, right Deb? Is that what that runs? Yep, $2,500 for adoption assistance. The last item on the benefit list is Vitant Now, which is for virtual care. We all have apps on our phone that I can press the app and I'll automatically be connected with a provider. I can go, hey, I've got a stuffy nose, headache, I'm running a fever, what do you suggest? They can do a diagnosis and call in a prescription for me with me never having to visit the doctor's office. So that's not only for our staff, but it's also for patients in the community. All right, next thing I wanna talk about is nurse residency program. We started our nurse residency program back in 2009. And the reason we started that is we realized that we were not giving our new grads the training and education they needed to be successful. So we took a step back rewrote the entire nurse residency program, and it has been going now for um, almost 12 years. Every new grad coming in is required to start out in the nurse residency program. We built this with the idea not only to teach you or help you with your competence, your skills, but we also want to work on the confidence. The residency program varies in length according to the acuity of the unit. It can range anywhere from 14 to 20 weeks, with the exception being if you go into the operating room, it is a six month residency program. It is about 75% of your time working on the floor and 25% they do classrooms, they have mentor groups, they do socials, everything to help you learn and be successful and build that confidence during your first year. When you join our nurse residency program, you will be part of a cohort. What that means is we start all of our new grads together. For December grads, we will be starting all the um, new grads in February. So everyone starting with you, they'll be in the same boat as you are. There'll be new grads. They're gonna have the same issues, the same nervous problems, everything that you've got. So there are others in your group that are experiencing the same thing you are. You will also work side by side with what you probably refer to as a preceptor. We call them your coach. You are assigned two coaches when you come into our system. One of the coaches is a very experienced nurse, and then your second coach is going to be a newer nurse with probably two or less years of experience. And what we have found is the way that works so well is as a new grad, you are more likely to ask a question that you seem to be a silly, think maybe a silly question to your newer clinical coach that has been through the process just like you're going through now. We also offer mentorship from a nurse educator. You will meet with your nurse educator on a bi-weekly basis and they will track your progress, tell you this is where we expect you to be at this time, this is where we are, congratulations, you're doing great, or these are the things we need you to work on. So you know how you're doing throughout the entire residency program. 
We also do participation in simulated laboratory experience, experiences. You're also gonna have the opportunity to do rotations with other healthcare professionals, such as a physical therapist, a res respiratory therapist, or an occupational therapist. You're gonna spend time with each of these healthcare professionals because we want you to have a true understanding of the full cycle of healthcare for the patient, not just what the nurse does, but what all of your partners are gonna be doing also. You'll also have the opportunity, you will be asked to join professional groups and nursing councils. We also have a professional connections mentor program. After you finish your residency program, you will have the opportunity to be matched up with an experienced mentor that doesn't work either in your unit or your division. There's someone from totally outside of where you're working. They serve as your mentor, not just for clinical issues, personal issues, any issues or questions you have, they're gonna be your mentor to be there to help you. You develop one-on-one -on -one relationships with them. You have interactions and we also do social events between the mentors and the people they're working with. Um, Deb has included in the link, there, and a link in the chat room for this, some testimonies from each of our, um, from some of our new grads that have started in the past, telling you about their experience going through our residency program. One thing I didn't mention earlier, at Vidant Medical Center, we have a nationally accredited nurse residency program. There are only three hospitals in the state of North Carolina that have that um, accreditation. And we're very proud of that because our goal is to ensure that every new grad coming in gets the training, education, and mentorship to be a successful nurse going forward. New grad interviews. For all of you December interview grads, we're currently interviewing. Um, the link that Deb provided gives you information on how to get to our website and the job opening to apply for. So how that happens with the new grad interviews. You guys are in Texas, you're in Dallas, and you're in Houston. Once we receive your application, I will contact you, talk about your interest in North Carolina, what, what interests you to move, and then find out the areas that you are interested in interviewing with. From that, I will set up either video or phone interviews with the nurse managers of those particular areas. After the phone interview, if everything goes well, you're still interested and the manager is interested in you, we don't want you to accept right then. We want you to come for a site visit to see our hospital, to see our community and to meet our people. And we pay for this. We have a travel agency that we work with. So if you're coming in from Dallas, I'll send them your information. They will contact you. They will book your flight from Dallas to here. They'll book your hotel. And if you need a car, they'll also book that for you. So they'll take care of all of that. Coming for that site visit, there's no obligation to accept a job if you come. You may get here and realize this is not the place for you. The reason we do this is I have a philosophy. I would never move anywhere I'd never been, nor would I expect you to do the same. You may love the hospital, but the community might not be the right fit for you. So that's why we want to ensure you come here and visit us before you make give us an official accept for a job offer. All right, next slide is you're wondering what do we have to offer? As I said, we're um, 974 beds. Vidant Medical Center in Greenville is actually the third largest referral hospital in the United States. So that means we are a busy facility. We offer many different types of units. Since we are so large, we don't have what you typically call your med surge units. We have divided that out into medical units. 
and you see the different areas, family medicine, internal medicine, nephrology, and telemetry. Anyone that goes into those units usually has an interest in disease management. So that's where you're gonna get your best training. We have progressive care. We have a medical transitional care unit and a medical step-down unit. Those two units in any smaller hospital would be considered an ICU because of the acuity of the patients. In those units, you will learn everything about every part of the body and learn how to treat every disease that comes in. Anyone in, interested in behavioral health, we have a 52 bed adult behavioral health unit. We also have in our facility, a rehabilitation hospital. I know most of you who have done clinical rotations, your exposure to rehab has probably been a nursing home. Not sure if any of you have ever been into an actual rehab hospital, but we have medical and neuro units in our rehab hospital. Once students get the opportunity and come in to see the rehab inpatient, they're totally sold on it because they don't realize what's all involved. Not only are you dealing with the um, medical issues, but they also have reasons to be in rehab. So you're going to get to use your assessment skills. You're going to get to use that medical training, all of that, plus dealing with their rehabilitation. So it's a very, very good area to learn and grow. We have um, a brand new tower we just opened three years ago that houses our medical and surgical oncology units. The new tower is beautiful. Every patient room has two flat screen TVs. It has a sleeper sofa for family members because we're all about family centered care. We encourage family members to stay with the patient. Each room has a large bathroom and shower that's larger than my bathroom in my home. It also has a refrigerator in it. Our medical oncology floor has an exercise room in there that either the family members or the patient, if they're able, can go in and exercise. We have a women's and children's hospital that is connected to our main hospital. In women's, we have um, labor and delivery. We are the hospital for high-risk deliveries in Eastern North Carolina. Every high-risk delivery is shipped to us. It's not unusual on any given day to do seven to nine C-sections. We also have switched to a mother-baby unit. So the model of care has changed with that. So you're doing couplet care. In that unit, in Mother Baby, we also have some OBGYN beds. One of the wild wow stories that I like to tell is we had a mother that was a high-risk pregnancy that had been um, given bed orders. And when they were doing a routine check, they discovered that she was bleeding and they needed to do an emergency C-section. So what that means is they have to get her to the OR, they have to gather the NICU team, the surgeon, the labor and delivery team. My wow moment is as soon as they discovered she was bleeding, we had delivered that baby by C-section in six minutes. Very proud of that. Our children's hospital has a 50 bed level four neonatal intensive care unit. What's different about our NICU is each baby has their own private room and it's set up for the family members to stay there. Everything is programmed in the NICU. So in the morning, the lights brighten like the sun is coming up and at night the lights dim like the sun is setting. That gives the baby um, preparation in, into going home so they understand day and night. In our NICU, we use a lot of te uh, telemedicine. because I said earlier, Eastern North Carolina is very rural. A mom and a newborn could live two hours away. So if necessary, we can send the mom home with a television camera and a monitor. And once or twice a day, they dial into the hospital. We can examine 
and weigh the baby right in the comfort of their home so they don't have to make the trip back and forth. We also have a 12 bed PICU and we've got a 42 bed children's department. Part of the beds in the children's department are pediatric oncology um, beds. If you'll ever see a picture of our hospital, our children's hospital is built in the shape of a boat. That's the theme of our children's hospital is nautical. Everything is nautical. Um, the ceilings are painted with fish on them. When they transport in the elevators, ceiling tiles are painted with fish and octopus and all that. So it's very nautical. Um, with the boat being built, in the center of the boat, we have a very tall glass tower that is always lit green. I always call that the smokestack of the boat. Of the boat. That tower is lit green. The only exception comes when we have a pediatric oncology patient that finishes their chemo. They get to select the color of the tower and for 24 hours, the tower is lit in that color in honor of that child. All right, critical care. I know a lot of you are interested in critical care. Being a large level one trauma center, I've got about 161, 160 ICU beds. They range from surgical intensive care, neuro intensive care, medical intensive care, cardiovascular intensive care, and cardiac intensive care. In our cardiovascular unit, that is set up on the same floor as six of our cardiovascular OR suites. If you ever get the chance, go to Google and look up Da Vinci. And I'm not talking about the painter. Da Vinci is a robotic open heart procedure that was developed and pioneered at our hospital. We are the first hospital in the United States to do robotic open heart surgery. What that means for the patient, they don't have to split the chest open, it's quicker healing time and less risk of infection. Um, we do hire new grads into all of these areas. And um, so anyone that is interested in intensive care, you do not have to start with a med surge with us. You can go straight into our intensive care. We also have step downs in the cardiac unit. We have a cardiac in intermediate unit and a cardiovascular um, intermediate unit. Emergency services. I know there are a lot of um, new grads that are looking for emergency services. As I said, we've got a 77 bed level one trauma center and a 16 bed level two children's ER. Between the two, they see approximately 125,000 visitors a year. We also have our own transport team that is called Vited East Care. We currently have five helicopters, 22 trucks, Nine of those are mobile ICUs. We do hire new grads into the ER and we offer a very thorough training program for that. I was recently talking with the transport team and they were telling me that this year they are doing 4,000 transports. So that shows you why we're the third largest referral hospital in the United States. We offer surgical areas. We have orthopedics general surgery, trauma surgery, transplant, bariatrics, and neurosurgery. So if medicine is not your thing, but you want what you consider a med surge background, we can bring you straight into one of our surgical areas. Next slide, and we have talked about this before, shows our regional hospitals, Biden Beaufort, Biden Bertie Chowan, Biden Duplin, Biden Edgecombe, Biden North and Biden Roanoke Chowan. One thing I forgot, the link that Deb has sent to you, the page that has the pictures of all the hospitals, if you will click on the picture of the hospital, it will open up a window that gives you information on the hospital and also the community that the hospital is located in. All right, a lot of you are asking, what do you pay? 
Currently, we start new grad nurses at 2450 an hour. We also have shift and weekend differentials from three to 11, it's 350 an hour. From 11P to 7A, it's $5 an hour. And from um, weekends, it's additional $5 an hour. Now these rates stack. So say I'm working Saturday night, I am going to make the hourly rate plus the weekend differential plus the appropriate shift differential. And I know a lot of you are probably looking at this rate and saying that's a lot less than what we pay in the Dallas Houston area. One thing I want you to consider is the cost of living in Eastern North Carolina. You can rent a two bedroom, two bath apartment in a gated apartment complex that has a pool, clubhouse, tennis courts, washer and dryers, full time security for around $1,000 a month. So the cost of living here is very cheap. Housing is very cheap. The average home, home price for a three bedroom, two bath home in our city with a half acre lot averages about 150,000. So as you see, the money we pay is gonna go a lot further for you. We also are gonna offer you a $10,000 retention bonus to join our team. We give you $2,000 after six months of employment. You get $3,000 after two years of employment. And then at the end of three years, we give you the remaining $5,000. One thing I want to stress to you about the relocation money I was telling you about and the bonus we're looking at here. We do not ask you to sign a contract. So you're not signing a contract committing to us for two or three years. We do understand life happens and there may be situations beyond your control where you have to leave. So our goal is not to set you up having to pay money back to us if your life changes and you have to relocate from the area. How do you apply? You're saying, Steve, you've got me real excited. I wanna come join you. What you need to do is go onto our website and it's www bitedhealth.com and apply for job opening ID 944788. And all this information is included in the link that Deb has shared with you. One last thing I'm going to do and try to do, and I'm not sure if it'll work, but you will have it in the presentation that Trevor has shared with you. We have a video. When we talked about I Care Like Crazy, um, this is a video I wanna share with everyone. And let's hope the sound works, Trevor. Back up. And like Steve mentioned, we do, uh, we, we, this is uh, sent out to you guys in our presentation. So um, if you're, you know, um, unable to kind of hear that, that volume to us, you guys will be able to click the link, click in your presentation to, to, hear, to, to hear that also. All right. So that's the end of the presentation. Um, I want to thank everyone for looking at this. And my contact information is in the presentation that Deb has shared with you. 
please feel free to give me a call at any time with any questions, anything you want to know. I'm here for you and we'll be glad to answer. Thank you guys. Thank you so much, Steve and uh, Deborah. I'm not sure if you wanted to add anything, uh, but um, please let me know um, or let our students know um, before we end our recording. Well, awesome. Thank you um, from, from our team and uh, anyone has any questions or anything, please, uh, please connect with us and we, we look forward to, to hopefully having uh, some of you in, in North Carolina. Thanks again. All righty. Well, we thank you all so much from uh, Texas all the way over to uh, Carolina. Um, we hope you all are uh, staying safe and staying healthy as well. Um, but again, thank you all for your time, your consideration, and also to your efforts in trying to recruit our students here at Texas Women's University. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or concern, please feel free to reach out to them as well as they've been very uh, informative and uh, throughout this particular presentation. So again, we just thank you and we look forward to hearing from you all in the future. Thank you, Trevor, have a good day. You too. Thanks. Bye-bye.